Hello, my name is Michael O'Keefe, aka The Movie List. If you enjoyed this interview and want to hear more top-notch film industry conversations, please press the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell to stay in the know. Why don't we do little intros going around? Sorry, with, uh, who are you, sir? Who am I? I'm Mo Dunford. I'm an actor that plays Callum. Yes, movie. in the dig. In the dig. In the, in the dig. The dig. And, and the what, dig. What, you're like in every movie at this festival. Three. <laughs> three, three, three. three, three movies. I saw Black 47 too. It was pretty fun. Black 47 is a sequel? <laughs> it was Black like, 48. Black 47. <laughs> and then, um, uh, who are you? I'm Andy. I'm one of the directors of The Dig. The, so, co-directing? Co-directing, yep. Yeah. My, name, my name is Ryan Tohill. Uh I am also co-director. The other half. And, and did, who wrote this? You uh, guys write it it that gentleman in the oh, okay, to, over here. Not allowed to sit at our table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I write too. I, I have the time to you know, kind of like lock in the clock and do your thing. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing you're even Quiet here. you. <laughs> uh, and who are you, sir? Uh, the Lord of Crabs. It's a very, very serious movie. Very intense. Mm, yeah. uh, the film? I saw the film, yeah. I saw it before I came here on, uh, at home. I had a little screener. Oh, okay. And it, it, was, uh, it was a good way to wrap up the day in like a depressing way. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I, that, that was our intent. I don't, I don't remember what the day, I don't know if I was happy or sad, but I was definitely sad by the end of it. But uh, um, when did this script come to you, Mom? Uh, October, I think, 2017. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and when, you, when you read it, well, well, how do you feel? Did, uh, without give, giving anything away, obviously, there's some twists and turns. Did, did, did anything surprise you plot-wise? Yes. Yes. But I'm not going to give what no, 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 no. surprised me away. Okay. But, uh, really intrigued. Uh, yes. The script. And I, to be honest, I was looking for a character, hoping for a character somewhat like this for, for a few years, actually. Really? And uh, it was such a pleasant surprise that it came out from, from Northern Ireland. Right. Um, from uh, supported by Northern Irish Screen and uh, people who I never met before. Yes. So it was like jumping into... Uh, it was, you know, jumping in first time and meeting them and, mm -hmm. and yeah, and jumping in and, and, and going for it and, and, and uh, collaborating on, on what our idea of who this character was. Yes. And that was, that was a really enjoyable, uh, really enjoyable process. So it says the character for you, you, you want a really strong character, like three-dimensional? Well, but, uh, that would be preferable, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I like two-dimensional too sometimes. But uh, uh, how, did, how did you guys uh, reach out to, to Mo? What was it like to work with Mo? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It was, you know, from very early on, we, we were just, you know, hit it off and seemed, to, you know, we were on the same page. And we, we, one of the great things about the, the process that we all went through was that a thing that happens less frequently, I think, but um, almost never in television, is that we had a rehearsal time. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah. I heard, yeah. And so we had, so they, those days are, from an actor's point of view, absolute gold dust. Mm. Uh, because you can, you know, w because you're not, you do not have the pressure of a crew sitting around waiting for you to decide whether you, whether you yeah. say a line this way, that way, or what, what, this, what this actually means and the repercussions of that, because we can get all that and do all that. And so, and we can also, at the same time, find out how our working relationship is and what's, uh, you know, what... Is that what are the the, the, the strengths, the the, the 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 highs, the lows, the the, the speed the, of, of the whole of the scenes and stuff like that, and what are the important points to hit? And um, this is where we start developing our relationships with each other as mm -hmm. uh, actors and as directors, and as, and, uh, and that was that, that that was a really really. I love that time. Yeah. I, it's a really precious time, and, mm -hmm. and it's great to be you know, really get into it. Yeah. Well, you you can, yeah, because mm -hmm. you don't have all the other. There's a circus that sits around you. Yeah. Around you. It's so like a you carnival. Don't, you don't yeah. have that, and you can concentrate on on on, on working relationships, mm -hmm. which is great. That's cool. So, if you guys were sitting <laughs> down with a schmuck, you're sitting down with a schmuck right now. Well, if you're sitting down with another schmuck, how would you pitch this movie to them? About two schmucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's the something? elevator pitch? Um, the film is about um, a, a convicted murderer that gets released after 15 years, mm. returns to the home he grew up to find the father of the victim digging on his land for the body that was never found. And with no memory of uh, the murder, mm. the only way to get rid of 
the father is to pick up the spade and join him in the dig. And it's a film about atonement, it's a film about redemption, and it's, a, it's also a film about uh, the very fact that you know, closure is more important than justice. And oh. that, 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 was, that was kind of the touchstone oh. which Stuart had always brought to the table. That, was, that is something that was always his touchstone that he put above his computer screen when he was hmm. writing this, was that closure was more important than justice. And hopefully we have carried that thread through the film. And hopefully by the end of that film, when those credits roll, people will understand that message, you know? Yeah. What do you, what do you guys say this is like, this kind of like broodiness is like kind of, <clears throat> is that typical in Ireland, Irish movies, would you say? I, no, not, not really? It wasn't, the broodiness wasn't the interesting part to me, honestly. It was yeah. Yeah. really important what Brian was saying there to me, that, um, right. that this isn't your usual sort of uh, Irish movie or a get off no. my land movie. There's <laughs> something really, there's something really humane about it, about what develops between Sean and 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 uh, Roberta and Callahan. There's something really uh, redemptive about it, mm. and there's something running in the undercurrent of it. It's more than just broodiness. Okay. More than just broodiness and moody right. looks. There is something <laughs> yeah. going on in the back of all their minds, which you can. Re- I found it really interesting yeah. working with Lorca and, and saying a lot without any dialogue. I really liked that, and and. Uh, I think it translates on the screen. I think the audience follow the the through line of that. It's more than just broodiness. Okay, all right. I'll it's it's, thank you for writing it's me. no, it's their it's their humanity. Yes. Okay. Did, did you guys have like what, what was it like on set? You said it's kind of like uh, crazy carnival. Did you guys chaos? <laughs> <laughs> <It was just laughs> chaos. Yeah. All right. Tell, chaos. Tell, tell us about that. Tell us well, about that. I mean, we we filmed uh, the the whole picture in eighteen days. Oh my so god! It was fast and furious huh. and. The weather in Ireland, in particular, uh, in the winter, is very unforgiving. And I know uh, in Canada here you get severe oh, yeah. winters, <laughs> but when it comes to Irish winter weather, it, there's a certain misery to it. That, <laughs> that's where the brooding uh, came out. Yeah, the weather. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it just gets into your bones, yeah. and it's it's wet, and the the guys were exposed to it every day. It's okay for the cast and or for the crew because we're all warm weather personal. But these guys were wearing the same clothes Oof. every day for three weeks, and they were just covered in mud. And it was times it was, it was tense, and we we were burning daylight. We were mm-hmm. losing light every day because the sun was set at three thirty in the afternoon. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we didn't have a lot of time in, in daylight. So it was real chaos. Thankfully, that chaos is the one thing that's missing from when you watch it. Because yes. it looks very <laughs> yeah. still, yes. in calm. still in calm, but it was true chaos. But, but, uh, but also how Angus shot the the, the, the landscape. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's beautiful shots of the the Antrim Hills where, where Sean is uh, drinking the the berries and and the 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 field or the bog is is a character. Yeah, and at the certain the the day the daylight at certain times of day, yeah. it just visually you didn't have to do very much. That that yeah. it helped us. Oh yeah. When I first got out of the car with Lorcan, that's where the broodiness came out. We were like, okay. I don't want to get out of this car <laughs> if you see the landscape. But then you learn that it, it, it's helping us in a way. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's helping us. It yeah, set yeah. the mood, didn't it? It was a, yeah. it was a really good stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As Lorcan had touched on before, actually Lorcan, it's probably best you explain this. It's just, you know, how, how um, the backdrop and the stage well, yeah. of the, uh, the environment Yeah, really I mean, the, 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 um, the, the land is... There's there's lots of shots um, which I love about I love about it, it, about the way it's been shot and the way it's been directed and and edited as well is that there's on the on the big screen there are two small figures mm. and the big and the one of the most important there's three characters in it but the third character is the land in the sky mm. and um, that is that that is a great. The, the lyricism of those it's so beautiful shows, it's absolutely good. yeah yeah but it's but it's but in but it can be harsh as well and that's the mm. and um, mm. what's amazing is that as difficult it is as it is shooting in the winter the 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 light is is very special mm. it's it's you know I mean blue skies in eight and that's brilliant <laughs> do you know what I mean that's what's, yeah. that's what's really beautiful some good clouds and um, that you know, you you sort of asked about what was you know working with that. You got to roll with whatever it throws up, and all of us, uh, the crew, had to do it. And um, you know, uh, there's you're trying to get 
vehicles into really difficult terrain, and there's only there's a there's a track to get to the actual spot where you're actually shooting where where the camera is, mm -hmm. and it's about you know 500 yards long, and one vehicle can go up and down at any one time, and that mm -hmm. takes forever. Do you know what I mean? To try and get to get, try and get all the stuff up and terrain. moving around the terrain was, just was actually hard. hard. Logistically, it sounds logistically like really intense. So you yeah. know, it there was you, it, it, that required um, a, a very communal effort on everybody's part. And yeah. as Mo said, the atmosphere um, in the place, consequently because of that, there's only one way you can deal with that. And that is that is have as much. Enjoyment yeah. in the process of actually filming this as you possibly could. I'm glad. I'm so, glad you guys had some laughs. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no, oh, yeah, yeah. it also oh, helps that um, you had two directors. So yeah. if we needed some uh, encouragement or to deal with scenes or our our backstory mm -hmm. where we are. One of the other brothers would be looking at the monitors and s setting yeah. it up in the technicalities, huh. and they would share that that duty. Yeah. So well, it was really it was really helpful that we had one director to talk to at any given time. Yeah, because there was a lot going on. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, a, a lot going on. So, what, it's very it, helpful. Yeah. 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 What's like, the difference of doing, like, because you've both done for Deep Zill Introduction, you've done Vikings, you've done Game of Thrones, you've done, what is it, the, the, the Tudors? <laughs> Crazy shows. What's the difference between doing those, like, shows that are, like, really out there, like, in, in uh, mass, mass entertainment and, and coming in and doing, like, a really, like, powerful project like this? Like, was you, as an actor, what's the, the approach? Is it, is it different? It's just like material is material, or is it? What's, it's just taught to me. I really, really just wanted to support uh, Ryan and Andy from the get go when I saw their passion for this project and when mm. I saw how generous they were to me, Lorcan, Emily, Francis. Mm. Because with shows that you mentioned, they're big, big productions, huge, have huge, huge uh, budget. And, and yeah. Ryan has worked on Game of Thrones for years, I tell you. Well, oh, wow. But we had three weeks, but we were allowed so much time to. To collaborate and talk out the scene uh. because I, I can understand that can drive directors nuts <laughs> and I can understand why they don't allow you to do that right. this was a really special collaborative uh, process yeah. between everybody this is like a really I sacred it. project to you guys it is well, yeah, it was, it was very important the beautiful thing it was, it was it was a small film it was a small crew and mm. it was a small very cast. small cast mm. so it, it was it was like a club you know, mm -hmm. and it was a family. Yeah. Well, and everybody, actors and all, were lifting kit off the bog late at night. No you kidding. know what I mean? It wow. was like everyone's grabbing pelly cases at night. And it, it really felt like we were making something special, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I, there, there was an intimacy to it. And I really hope that transmits on screen because although it is a very dark subject matter, it was made with a lot of love. Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, a lot of time and a lot of time off screen. Like because we only had eighteen days. I mean, like uh, Lorcan was mentioning that you know we uh, the invaluable uh, process of getting those four days of rehearsal, yeah. and you know Andrew and I basically made the entire film in his living room with our shot list. Mm -hmm. You know we didn't have time to dally, yeah. so we had to go in with a plan every day and stick to the plan. And these guys were amazing because they brought their A game every day. And I know you didn't want to get out of that, day, <laughs> that car, yeah. you know. And you know, and we could because obviously we were very stressed given eighteen days. But these guys had to deal with things that we didn't, you know, with the rain and the mud. And we're sitting with about four layers on and mm. a cappuccino, and these guys are just in a hole covered in mud. Yeah, yeah. that's you know? tr that's true. But there was something. I know it was, you know, it, it was, un, you know, uncomfortable. Yeah, that's true a lot of times. But there's also something about that discomfort as that a performer mm. that actually that, helps. that brings that brings you to the place where you need to be. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, and certainly for a man who's as driven as Sean is in this story. Um, uh, we were previously asked. I was previously asked about you know what 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 is your what the motivation behind it? There's the man is obsessed with what he's doing. Yeah. But it helps me that I actually have to get in and start to the work. I'm up to my ankles, up to my knees in mud where I can't actually move because it's so. But I, I know it's and it's it's not. You know what I mean? If you if you, you, you the experience of actually 
and being there was, was it's just so helpful to watch it. Actually. That's really it was, interesting. The, how your yeah. environment, like how it, you say it's like a third yeah. character, and yeah. then how it affected your performance. I was wondering what were kind of like your influences to get get in this uh, this crazy industry you're in. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> our influences were just basically you know we we've been making films since we we're like 13 years old. You Ooh, know, yeah. uh, how old are you guys now? 35. Oh, okay. So, you know... Some, some kids played football. We picked up a... a yeah. yeah. Hey. So, running around our garden making films for years and then we, we moved into making shorts and and we've always worked together, you know. So, um, you know, the, our influences would be stuff, especially for the dig, you know, mm -hmm. strong influences from Sergi Leone and, oh. and, and, uh, and that Western vibe that we really wanted this to feel like an Irish Western, mm -hmm. you know. Oh. And we uh, listened a lot, lot to lots Nick of Cave, wides. Nick Cave and Warren Ellis. Nick Cave, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, that that really moody atmosphere. Yeah, and we used yeah. to we used to get in the car like because you need to be on set and literally rolling cameras at like eight a.m. So you're getting up at five, and then it was like hour's a, journey. an hour's journey to the bog, and you're driving through the sleet at five a.m. And we'd always just put on Nick Cave to set the tone. <laughs> yeah, and no one would That's speak cool. because we're so tired. <laughs> Driving silence in the cave, yeah. and then and then we we we'd get out there and do it. But uh, yeah, so the, the western thing was very important to us. We wanted to, it to feel, you know, the landscape itself. You know, it was like this was our Grand Canyon of John yeah. Ford. John you know Ford. What I, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know what I mean? Like the bog was our oh. Grand Canyon. And Angus Angus brought a lot of that. Like his eye was magnificent. Yeah. You know, and Angus was always about let's keep it wide. Close. So every close up is shot on a wide lens, you know, to really give you that scope. And that's what, I, like, even last night when we were watching, that's the biggest screen we've ever seen yeah. it on. And yeah. yeah. And the size, the size of those close ups. It's know, a real movie. Really, it's, it's, a real movie. It's, it's a real movie. It's a real movie. Yeah. And it makes uh, the face. slice of life. Yeah. Well, what for, foreign audiences, they're, what they're understanding of Irish film, they may, uh, they may relate it to. When you ask us what a great Irish movie is, we could say Michael Collins or or yeah. or the Wind That Shakes the Barley or oh, that's or, a great. Movie. But foreign audiences, you know, sometimes they expect movies that maybe a happy ending or or far and, so far and away, right? Or, sure. Or sure. I, I, <laughs> what about Cardboard Gangsters? That's a good one. <laughs> Cardboard Gangsters, you know about? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We, have, we have an Irish film festival in Ottawa. Oh, and, really? yes. and we do it. And yeah, I talked to, uh, I was supposed to talk to John Connors, yeah. but he couldn't get into Canada because, you know, he's a, <laughs> he's a rough guy. But I talked to uh, MC God Creative, his like, uh, soundtrack guy, and yeah. he, I has, think, he, he has some funny stories. I yeah. think John told me about this, that he was actually due on the plane or something like that, but it they was something with the passport or something yeah. like that. He told me. He told yeah, me he that. He told me this, yeah. That's so funny. But with this movie, it, it's, it, it's a real movie. It looks... So much more than what the budget was, yeah. And it's it's like it's it's unlike any other Irish movie before. Oh, it, wow. it, it really is. It's, it stands apart from other Irish movies. I think it's so cool. But uh, what else can we talk about? What, what are you guys coming up next besides? Uh, Bo's got every movie a tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bo's making a movie at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we've been working on something very closely with a with a writer, um, still very much in development. Yeah. Um, it's another genre picture. Oh, cool! Uh, that's very much where we feel comfortable, you know. I, we, yeah, yeah. We 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 want to we want to obviously keep keep uh, we're big advocates of the Irish film, and you know, like, um, and we want to keep making Irish films. I think and basing them with the Irish Irish genre movies. Yeah, you know, and you that's know, cool. You know, you know, yeah. it's the same like Chris and Benny who were, you know, uh, bad day for the cuts. They made a good genre picture last year, and they're mm. good friends of ours. And, Great guys, and and they're going on to bigger, better things. They're working with Legendary now, and you know they've got their own picture up and running. But I think, with regards to us, I think we want to make our second film, but we want to keep it in Ireland, and we want to we want to um, definitely show Ireland to the rest of the world. And mm -hmm. and I, I think um, the the desolation and the, you know the landscape itself, it's going to play again mm -hmm. uh, as a character yeah, in the next film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, in some degree and. Yeah, you just have to wait and see what it is, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay tuned. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. It's been a real Thank fun. You.